Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim. One of the things I always love to do is talk about things that are either new or things that we haven't talked about before and that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to talk to you about the brand new Tetrix DC motor and servo expansion controllers. I got examples of them here, both of them. Um, one of the cool things about these is the fact that they have been reconfigured to be totally plug and play. They both come with uh, all the cables that you need and it's a simple matter of going in and just plugging those in just like that and plugging the other end into a, a power connection or the motor connection. They have uh, the actual data cable that comes with them that is allows you to connect it to whatever controller that you want to and we'll talk about more of that in just a minute. But let's go ahead and break down the specs of the expansion, box, expansion boxes themselves. Now, if you're like me and you build robots that you like to be a little bit more complicated, a little bigger, sometimes you need more than just two motors or six servos. That's where these little things come in handy. Uh, with each box, and you have a DC and again, the servo, uh, you can add two motors and two encoder ports. So if I've got four motors that I need to put on my robot, I can add one of these boxes and totally take care of that. On the servo side, same thing. We've got the ability to add six additional servos plus two CR dedicated servo ports. So up to eight more servos that could be added to that. And you can see that when you add these boxes into your uh, basic control system, you can begin to build a pretty complicated robot. So um, that's one of the cool things comes in a clear polycarbonate case, um, pretty durable, matches the rest of our uh, Tetrix ecosystem as far as the mounting points, fits exactly where you need. So um, again, really cool items. I can daisy chain up to four of these. So in other words, if I had uh, in different combinations, I could put a DC motor, another DC motor, servo, and a third DC motor if I wanted to. So up to four can be daisy chained together and uh, use really simply with the control system. So let's talk a little bit about control systems because that's one of the things that is really cool about these. They not only work with PRISM, and I've got an example of that right here, our PRISM controller. They also work with other controllers. And I'm gonna bring a, a couple of robots here so you can see them. I've got an example of a MyRio. So if you, if you build a bot for, uh, for instance, the WRO competition, I can add the expansion controllers. Again, daisy chained up to four and build a complicated robot with that. Or if you're an EV3 user, you can mount those on a robot with the EV3. And again, you have the ability to use the Lego controller, the Tetrix build system, and the DC motors and servos with that. So again, a really powerful way to add to the different controllers. Software support, again, we've got native EV3 blocks that will work with these expansion box. We've got a LabVIEW toolkit that will work with uh, the expansion boxes with LabVIEW. And of course, we've got software support in our own proprietary library that goes into the Arduino IDE. So again, we've really tried to make it really easy to use. You've seen those, let's give you an example of how they work. I've got my Prism bot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Now basically what we've got is a simple program to kind of demonstrate this robot's gonna go forward, I'm gonna activate my servos, go back, do a little spin, and then turn off. So let's see if we can get that to work. Just simulating that I've gone out and grabbed something. Come back. Do a little spin, and there we go. So, again, you can see how easy these things are to use. Support from the, as far as resources, you can find all those at pitsco.com. Just go to the individual product pages and there'll be things like software files that you can download. Everything you need is gonna be right there on the web on the individual product pages. So, the other thing that we might need to talk about is what are some maybe a cool use that you can do that maybe might not be the typical thing with the motor controller. These DC motor boxes, because they are a 12 volt output, they can be used to do things like control lights. So if you think about that, that all of a sudden opens up a lot of possibilities where you can program lights and 
to come on or off, dim, brighten, just by using this motor controller and outputting to a 12 volt light. So again, there's ways that you can use these beyond just what the obvious is of the motors and servos. So I hope you found that informational, helpful, and again, inspires you to go out and do like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us.